friends, it's Kaylee Bird, and I just completed my first full room mural. That's right, I completely redid this entire bathroom using nothing but house paint, and I can't wait to show you how. So make sure you pop that subscribe button so you're always back for the artsy goodness. Oh yes, nothing nicer than a whole bunch of brand new fresh paint. Before I could start playing, I decided to repaint this old green with a new pink sort of flesh tone that I think would really complement the potted plants. So I knew right from the beginning of planning this mural I wanted to do some kind of plant life. My first thought had been to do like a jungle scene in there, maybe with a waterfall and big beautiful tropical flowers, but then I realized since this was such a small space, this was actually a pretty small bathroom with just one window. I realized that I didn't want to do anything too intense or dark to make this space smaller. What I wanted to do was actually make the space larger. So I decided to use the trompe l'oeil technique of muraling where I would actually make things look like they were recessed into the wall. If you're not familiar with that term, trompe l'oeil means to fool the eye in French. And whenever you see these classical murals everywhere that go into far landscapes or show columns or you know, painted sculptural gardens, that kind of thing, that seem to expand far out into the distance, that's what that is, trompe l'oeil. You want to have things fool the eye to make it seem like your space is much bigger. Now, obviously, I'm not doing huge classical gardens in here, but I decided to have all of my potted plants as well as my little shelves set back so it would seem like they were all recessed from the walls. So I know from this view, the shelf looks a little wonky. It looks like the left side is far bigger than the right, but you'll just have to trust me that it is actually quite even. Of course, I had to have the camera off to my left side while I was painting, which actually brings me to another sad fact. Yeah, trying to record while I painted all along the bottom of the wall uh, did not really work out. You know you can't super tell from here, but this was a very tight space along the floor. So. I'll just have to give you a little teaser of what it was like coming all the way down here to paint because, yeah, there was no way that I was going to be able to film anything curled up in a little corner back there with less than two feet of space around me. <laughs> so if you'd like a little insight into my potted plant methodology, what I did was I went ahead and sketched everything out with pencil on the wall and then I went through and with a dark brown went ahead and painted in the little dirt area of each pot and then I let that completely dry before going back over and bringing in the other colors for the pots and vessels and the reason I decided to do that was because I didn't want any of those bright colors to accidentally mix with that dark dark brown. So I did have a little more luck filming the upper areas of the bathroom rather than the tight lower areas, of course. But no matter what, I still managed to accidentally put myself in between the wall and the camera quite often. So you'll just see some clips of the areas coming up until I am way too much in frame to um, be conducive to witnessing anything I'm doing. Oh, and by the way, uh, yeah, note to self, painting vines takes forever. You'll see the entire painted vine at the end, but I think I spent over two hours painting, like, I don't even know, 250 little leaves or some obnoxious amount. I was like, note to self, let's never paint vines again. No, I'm just kidding. I probably still will, but oh my gosh. Yep. There it is, and that's the end. There's my shoulder for the rest of this video. Now these were actually some of the leaves I was most excited about painting. This is a split leaf philodendron, and these things were everywhere in Hawaii. I love them. They get absolutely massive. So I knew when I was gonna do a bunch of houseplants, I had to incorporate them in this guy. As 
as you can see, I try to keep things on the more simple end. Now, I definitely could get all super anal retentive like I do with my oil paintings on all these, but I really wanted them to have more of like an illustrative, sort of fleshy feel, and so I wanted to do just the minimal amount of a little shading and a little highlights, just enough to make them pop, but not enough to make me go crazy or literally spend like 400 hours painting all these plants. Because if I were to paint them in the same techniques I did my oil paintings, uh, yeah, I would be here like all month. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, it's really nice just kind of being loose and easy sometimes. This house paint is so smooth and stays wet and just very thick and opaque for so long. It's actually really a pleasure to paint with. Oh, I really love this one too. My funny little cactus. Oh, it's so cute. I just tried to give it just a little differentiation so with each sort of next layer I would make it just slightly darker. I don't know. A lot of the stuff I was just kind of making up off the top of my head just for fun, you know? This is one of the first major murals I've ever done. I helped out somebody do like a a big bouquet on their wall one time, but other than that, this is the first time I've ever been able to mural an entire room, much less with whatever I wanted. I was given pretty much free reign however I wanted to decorate this bathroom. So that was really cool because it was like all these little plants that I was interested in or little techniques that I wanted to learn more about. So I'm really grateful for this experience. I mean, come on now, how cute is this little cactus? Oh my goodness, and all the little spikes. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, those spikes took quite a while. But just you wait until I add the pretty pink flowers. And here is the other one of my little trompe shelves. You can see from this one that you're looking down on it, and if you remember from the other one that you're looking up on it because they're in two very different positions on the wall. You'll see at the end, but I really wanted to make it look like when you're standing up at average eye level, which is pretty much me because I'm five foot six, that you're looking down at the one shelf and up at the other. Oh, it was so fun learning all these new techniques. And now for these adorable string of pearl succulents. I love these plants in real life. I used to have one, but when I left for Hawaii, it was one of the few things that seemed a little difficult to pack. So I'll have to get one another one one day because I just love these. They're so delicate. And it was so funny because it got super long and it actually started to look kind of like my hair. <laughs> Up, and here comes a little visit from my right shoulder again. So here's a little cutesy poo sort of aloe version that I'm painting. I didn't stress myself out on making things too exact, for one, just because of ease of painting, and for two, I thought it'd be fun just to kind of take some elements from one plant that I liked and maybe from another from another. So on the plant on the right is sort of like a cross between another 
philodendron or maybe a taro plant or tiny elephant ears kind of thing. I would just sort of take a few main characteristics from a plant and then just have fun with it. I didn't want to stress myself out trying to over perfect everything. One thing I was definitely learning while creating this mural was that a few well-placed dots or some very deliberate mark making was really the best way to show an element of realism without making things too complicated either as far as painting or for the viewer's eyes. Because like for example this is rosemary. Rosemary is impacted on the leaf much much tighter than this but it would just over complicate so it was all a technique of showing things realistically enough that people could tell what they were but also casually enough that I was able to enjoy it not micromanage and that things would just sort of have a playful nature about them. This adorable little wall of hanging herb sacks was the very first idea I had for this bathroom. I don't know where I got the idea of little cloth bags of herbs, but it was like the first thing I saw in my mind's eye. And once I saw this, <laughs> I just knew that I had to do potted plants and other kinds of things all over this bathroom. So this was actually one of the only things that I had really planned out before even starting. And I love how they turned out my herbs up there. I did sage, rosemary, basil, and wheatgrass. And if I don't mind saying myself, they are so adorable. So while this little basket of happy leaves seems kind of simple, this was actually a great learning experiment for me. I had been wanting to experiment with creating depth perception by using solid tones in a dark to light gradient showing darkest being farther away and lightest being closest without having to do things like outlining or doing really any kind of detailed mark making or even showing shadows beneath the leaves. I just wanted to see if I made the farthest ones dark, medium ones, um, mid-tones, and the closest ones light tones, if that would actually show a nice depth of perception. And I feel like it came through pretty well. All right, now who's ready for the big reveal? Ta-da! How adorable! And these little sprouts are behind the back of the sink and they lead right up into the little fresh herb garden mm, i love this part so much i actually want to paint more herb gardens in other places i think it's my new calling and actually i really had a good time sort of figuring it out the fun ways to cram as much fun and excitement into all these weird little nooks and crannies like I said, this bathroom kind of had a lot going on as far as like little shelves and different areas, so it was fun just trying to figure out where things are. I know you guys didn't see me painting part of these, but like I said, that camera angle was just too difficult. And here is the part I love the most. Yay! We added an actual towel hanger underneath it so that your towel would interact with the plant life. How much do you love it? And not only do I have this big lovely cactus that you got to see me paint, but I actually made a really cute little short and squat one down on the bottom too. Oh, this was so satisfying and with all the little dots. I loved it. Too bad I couldn't get the camera in here for these guys. They were very satisfying to paint. 
And here we go with the shower curtain up. You can kind of see it as more of a living space. I wish I was able to take one or two really awesome photographs to kind of show the entire area, but since it was such a tight space, I literally couldn't back up far enough to do it. I had such a good time doing this though, and I actually have two more murals coming. So make sure you pop that subscribe button if you haven't already and come back because I got more to show you. Thanks for being here, guys.